Welcome land. Welcome to another episode of Gen 2 Garage. <laughs> Dart Vader edition. Dart Vader edition. That's right. So you're just gonna make a nice, easy first pass. Yeah, I mean, our first first time ever at the track with this thing. I have no idea what tune's in it. Uh, we just want to make sure everything's you know, functional. I, I've only driven the car down the road by our house. Right. I mean, that's literally it. We'll see what happens here, but yeah. it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy. We're not. We're not yeah. setting any. I, I. I don't do hero mode. I, don't, I just don't no. do hero mode, especially with advise. something like this. Yeah, for sure. She's gonna start the data log. Yep. It's my job. And then hopefully we can get the laptop co to connect after this. We'll look at it, see if everything's working, yep. and go from there. Just a nice, easy pass. I wouldn't even mat it right off the bat. I'd just ease into it from a roll. I really would. Just make well, sure. What I might do is just get it in second gear and then roll into it hard. That's, exa that's exactly just what I'd do. Low gear. I mean, I'll probably just go right to two, just get the car off the line, get it and pull it to, and then just kind of step into it. Yeah, see what it, feel yeah, what it's going to feel like and yeah. make sure it's going to drive straight. Fancy kicks on today. Man, he looks, he looks fast. I mean, you'd think that's John Force in there. <laughs> New suit. His belts. He's usually got an all gray grout fit on. The Hi, grout buddy. suit. Hey, buddy. Damn, you look a snazzy. I know, dude. He looks fast. Look at him. He's got gloves. Gloves are important, actually. You should wear them. Hello, small child. He has suspenders on. He's ready. Spenders? <laughs> he can't hear you. Well, that's a good thing. underwhelming <laughs> it cleaned up so I I got in high gear and then it was wow but until then it was a mess so I was afraid of I was afraid of something like that like you can't you don't know that until you get out there it wanted a stall coming back when I was backing up it almost stalled at the end of the burnout but it didn't I thought so. Mr. Burnout man <laughs> Yeah, that was a pretty good burnout. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on outside the car. Like, I, I can't turn my head. I don't know what's going on. It's really weird. I was like, I don't even know where I'm at. I'm like, where am I? Am I past the tree? Where am I? <laughs> That's terrible. That sounds terrible. Just, just, it was all loaded up. Hoping it would clean up. So. You know, I haven't even tested on the trans brake. I need to back up and test on the trans brake. I've not even done it yet. I don't know what, I mean, that's, that's the problem. I can't get in the, let's see if we can get in the grid. It was, it was all broke up and pulled second, and then I pulled third and laid into it, and it was just, it was like a flipping rock. Yeah. But I uh, cleaned up eventually. Yeah. It was, was breaking up in the burnout a little bit. I don't know, I, I would say the plugs are probably a little loaded up on it. Do you have fresh plugs? Yeah, I can go my, get some. Didn't cross my mind. Gas will foul a plug real easy. You guys drain the meth injection tank? Yeah, we just want to eliminate that variable because Jeff's got some washer fluid in it. And he said that it doesn't load up like that before, so 
today he filled it up and now it's kind of loading up so we're going to take that out of the equation he's not making full going passes anyways today we just need to get a pull on this thing and see what it's going to do i told him to clean it out really good before he staged it this time just rev it yeah make sure it's not loaded up or anything so i don't know we'll see we can't get the grid to connect and I can't get the race pack to connect, so which I both tried before today with no luck. I don't know if my laptop is too new. I mean, those kind of things are just so painful. We even tried my laptop, and we yeah. tried like three different cables, so we don't know what's going on. So but. we're kind of flying blind. We're going to go up, try to make another something happen. We have found a problem. It appears that the trans brake button is stuck in. If that happened on the last pass, which I'll tell you, it was acting weird on the return road. So I, I was gonna test the trans brake down there. I went to move forward and the car wouldn't move. I was like, Ugh, something's wrong anyway. It looks like the button's bad, so. That's the first time in my life I have ever burned out that started. Really? Not even in a dragster? No. Did you feel like John wasn't any better, was it? I mean, it just... Oh, it was worse. Oh, worse. That was worse. Oh, my God. It's a whole production. He has a whole planned production. Do I look majestic? A little bit. What, uh, what's happening? We don't know because we can't get the laptop to connect. Oh, really? There's no USB port on that thing, is there? No. You gotta know something to know something to know something on this thing. Well, it does have a USB port, it's just not working. Yeah. Okay. So, Jeffrey, what's the plan? We should get a plug reading. We got a problem. We, we have a problem. We do have a problem. We have a problem. Our boost tube is uh, a little bent there. Something is shifting. Yeah. The whole assembly the has, has roofed it that to way. The, uh, south, hasn't it? Came off. Yeah, that's why it's fat, because it's getting. That's no why. Air. It's running on motor. Yeah, yeah, it came off. Running on motor with all the fuel for the blower. Yep, that's it. I mean, it's gotta be weird buying someone else's car apart and putting it back together when you're not the one that like built it. Hi, Derek. So everything is just, yeah, it's just all part of it. First rule of boost, make sure your charge pipe is connected. <laughs> So as you can see, we have a very long silicone coupler in there. It's kind of a band-aid fix for now. We really need to add some pipe so we don't need such a long coupler. Basically, every time he reaches a certain amount of boost, it blows the charge pipe off right at the coupler.
I heard it as soon as he let off the throttle. The boost blows the charge pipe off. For some reason, the blow-off valve isn't opening. So when it builds boost and he closes the throttle, it just pressurizes the throttle blades until it blows the charge pipe off. Because it almost died. It was real crisp in the burnout, and then the seat, and then almost the car almost died. So I like, heard it as soon as the RPM came down from the burnout. As soon as you closed the throttle, I heard it pop off. I knew exactly what it was. So with only 30 minutes left in the test and tune, we pretty much had time for just one more hit. We got the charge pipe tightened up the best that we could. Jeff decided he's gonna do a pretty mild burnout, that way it doesn't blow the charge pipe off. That way he can try and make some kind of a pass under boost. Are you gonna try that plane again? car there well you see he said he's gonna ease into it and uh, he did not <laughs> as soon as, once it came up on rpm it blew the charge pipe off again well as soon as he let out after he was on the limiter for about till 80 100 feet that's when it came off i think oh. talk to me goose uh, i know they're there <laughs> they're there well well i think i gotta sit down <laughs> i think i gotta sit down <laughs> what a day huh what, what a day, day. We made progress. We learned things. I mean, every minute with this car, we're learning something because we have nothing, we have no knowledge at all. I mean, right. And it's gotta be tough because you literally bought someone else's car that was a part that you didn't, you don't know how it goes together. You're just putting together the pieces as you find them. Yeah, and, and we, have, we have not been able to get into the... Uh... <laughs> Jeffrey, you okay, buddy? How you doing, bud? I forgot that you said that the trans brake doesn't work, so... Oh, yeah, you're like, what is he doing? Well, it needs that shock to, to plant the tire, and without that, it's just gonna oh. do what it did. Oh. I didn't realize. <laughs> I guess I haven't been here all day like the rest of you all, but, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Did you put it back on, or did it not come off? No, I didn't put it back on. Okay, it's on there, it seems like. Look at, look at the bottom, look from the bottom. So, I break this, and then I wipe these. Fix the charge pipe, so it's better. Maybe some better tires. Get into our grid. I know. You gotta get in our grid. I'll get my old laptop working. It went 110 through the eight. Hey, I'm 95 in the quarter. I can't believe we still went 110. I know. I know. Spinning, coasting, I think the thing makes them seem about Well, I think you know, when he was in it. I think it is. We'll yeah, we'll yeah, Maybe may underestimating <laughs> Darth Vader. <laughs> we're gonna put you in there. We'll get everything right. Put you in there. It's a valuable day. Yeah, we learned a lot today. So, you know, this is how you find out what's wrong with your car. You got to go take it to the track. So. And what do you always say? 
Races are won and lost in the shop. No, the new oh. one. Cars always talk to you. Yeah, cars talk to you. So, yeah, today was a lesson in that. And I didn't listen to my own advice today. We noticed something after the first run or second? First run. Something didn't look right, and I didn't listen to it. Like we said earlier, we, we've not been able to get into the grid ignition. I've not seen any of the data from the race pack either. So, did it really matter today? Mm, no, because our other problems kind of negated any need for good data anyway but um, I, think, I don't even know how i don't even know how many pounds of boost this thing makes like i a have lot. no idea <laughs> a lot <laughs> all, all of it, it all of it yeah. to make it rattle the tire like it did for 100 feet like <laughs> it was making steam but when we fix the charge pipe we get new tires on there and we get on a track that is and we can good start, oh my then we can start doing the fun stuff oh gritty tuning and shock adjustments and that kind of thing and really good oh, well, and, the, and the trains brake button broke too so I didn't figure it out until I was in the lanes I kept pushing the button and it wasn't doing anything but the car wouldn't move so anyway we figured out that the trans brake button was on all the time yeah because you put it in reverse and it started packing up without even hitting the button right right and then I put it in low gear and it wouldn't move so I'm like something's wrong here so Billy and I figured out that that button was basically stuck on thankfully it was stuck on so I could still back the car up I just turned the power on and off. Uh, so yeah, that, that went wrong too. <laughs> so we had fun. It's nice to have Billy and my dad yeah. and everybody there helping. Yeah, everybody was there. I appreciate everyone's help. And yeah, everybody doesn't hesitate to jump in and help. So that's really cool. So I'm a fish out of water. I mean, I'll be the first to tell everybody I am a fish out of water with this car. And uh, I'm not used to a lot of things, so, but it's cool. <laughs> so. I can't wait to see you print a five to the eighth on a time slip. Full pass, A to B. We'll get there. We'll get there. All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Stay I have some dart video, normal dart videos out soon. Yeah. The dart, other dart video. Dart Junior. Dart Junior. Dart Junior. We'll see you guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you all for watching. Peace.